Jason Booth has been to hell and back. Many said he would never box again after alcoholism wrecked his body and his life. But on September 11th, against all odds, he will challenge for the IBF Super Bantamweight title, the world title. Booth is a prolific trainer, but unlike most fighters who are coming down in weight, Jason is making his way up to the 8 stone 10 limit. Um, nearly finished now, um, just got to keep well again like I said, um, looking forward to it even more now, um, I've sparred better now, got my flow back, just got to wait for the night now. What are you going to do now, go for a run? Yeah, just got to run, I'm like on the weight now, just just doing little and often now, just little bits and bobs, finish, so I get going. <laughs> Coming Jay? Yeah, I'd love to Jay, but my uh... My age uh, just uh, defeats me a touch. <laughs> Don't have to ever have to worry about him skipping it, Jim, do you? You know he's not going to be sitting around the corner. Well, you know you know what? He's, he's been on the way for over a week and he's been eating what he wants. Uh, I wonder if Mr Molotov's enjoying Sunday dinners with the roast beef, roast potatoes, veg, Yorkshire puddings. Jason's eating the lot and I've never seen him so strong and he's way on the weight. Come on, champ. Had to stop to take a piss. Did you? Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Got it. How do you feel? You look good, you look good. Don't, uh, don't get cold, eh? Get shouting and towel down. That's good, Jay. And he's still eating roast beef dinner. <laughs> I ate less yesterday and I've only lost half a pound yesterday, I had two dinners. He had two dinners yesterday, he's lost half a pound. No, no, when I had two dinners I lost more weight. It's not just in the gym where fighting for a world title has made a difference to everyday life. On the outskirts of the city of Nottingham, Booth returns home. And he's no longer just Jason Booth the boxer, but Jason Booth the father. Right, babe. Where? Oh, 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 Booth is now happily married with two young children, but makes no secret of the fact that without Sarita, he'd probably not be here today. And what's he like? I asked him out in the garden there, does he bring his work home with him sort of thing? Is he difficult uh, around training camps when he's making weight, or is he not too bad? He's okay. He is. Aren't you, Jay? He's used to it now, aren't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, so the just... weight's better. That's yeah. what it is. Because you can eat what you want. Not that not so much that. It's not as bad as it was when I was doing 8-6, or we have to really go on drinking coffee and stuff. And I flew is more. It's not what I eat, it's what you drink in it that puts on the weight out mm. thing. Yeah. What do you get around fight time? Do you get nervous watching him? I do, yeah. Yeah. Really. Do you go to the fights or would you or would you rather watch it on TV? I like to go. She shouts, she gets angry, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's well not with a swing, but yeah, she does the old lot. She'll get kicked out if the good out she says. Yeah. What, what are the kids like around their dad as well? They, because they, they sort of obviously they know that he's fighting, but yeah, the oldest one he goes school, shows him what he does and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good thief, you know. You can walk around with something, she'll snatch you out your hand dead quick. <laughs> you know, you just need me out, aren't you? Daddy. Daddy's out. Yeah, daddy. Out. <laughs> good boy. Oh. If any of the kids ever wanted to get into boxing, how would you feel about that? Not a I'll be quiet, yeah, because I've like say I've got a lot of experience in it. 
then if you will. I think he will. Come on, Mark. When I retire, I can focus on the kids more then, see what they want to do. I like them to finish school though, you know, because I never finished school or anything. I just went straight into boxing. I school when I was 15. No, I, didn't know. I was going to go music school, that's about it. I'm starting to get more notice now, every week. You know, the way I go, even like, say there's teachers at school like recognise that I'm doing well. The kids. I'm good to get in the doctors anytime I want. Quite mm. famous down there, it was only a joke. <laughs> I'm jealous. I rang up because <laughs> I, I had to go and get a medical clearance and it goes, Hello, Jason. <laughs> oh, we can get you in today. You know, if there's anybody else, oh, we ain't got no. <laughs> we got them two weeks. God knows what'll happen if he becomes world champion. Then we'll be, you'll be getting. You could run the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I just. Well, what it is when I was when I was ill, they seen how, how ill I was because I used to go to the doctors like on the odd time, innit? And like break down in the in the surgery. So nah, nah, they're happy with me, aren't they? Is that bringing all that up? Because I know Jay sort of said. Everyone sort yeah, of brought up. Her, how bad I was. I was going to say. Ask you, me. you want to ask her? I was going to say bringing all that up again. Is that like sort of old wounds or anything like that, or yeah, is it something? It, it, it does get on the nerve. Bring it up a little bit that people do now. For some people, it's a story, though, isn't it? For others, it's not. For the, I, I think for the boxing world, it's not. But for the non-boxing fans, it is, isn't it? The, yeah. the alcoholic that's turned it around from. From no, you know, from the, nowhere to the world title, but it, that bit is good. But what I did go through was pretty bad. It was. Mm -hmm. With the fight just under a week away, both men are deep into their final routines ahead of Saturday's main event. Right, you've been to my house now. Got to go to sleep. Got training in a bit. Early. You've seen, you've seen the kids in that. Now it's time for you to go. See ya. With typical British weather affecting the champion's road work, Molitor has made his way to warmer surroundings for his morning's training. I said, to him, we're going to run outside today, but Chris didn't want me to, uh, to run outside because it's kind of damp out, so we're going to hit the treadmill for about 20 25 minutes, get, get loose, do a little stretch, maybe do the Stairmaster or something. I don't know where to see what we got here. Just to stay loose and, uh, you know what I mean, stay, stay sharp. We're going to Maybe do a little bit of ladder drill after, keep the fast twitch muscles in effect. Um, the weight's good, 124 and a half yesterday, you know what I mean? I'm eating, you know, two or three meals a day, eating healthy, and so my weight's still good, so, I mean, we don't gotta kill, kill it to make the weight, so everything's good. We're right where we should be. Mentally, like everything, physically, oh, yeah. how, how do you, are you settled in fine? I'm settled in, you know, it took me a few days to, to, to get uh, acclimatized, but you know what I mean? I'm feeling good, I got lots of sleep the first couple of days, I slept like 12 hours in a row back to back, you know what I mean? So I've gotten lots of rest, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling strong, and I, you know, fight night can't get here soon enough. But for anyone who thought this was an easy job, manager Jimmy Gill has a message. Steve Molotow's a great fighter, a good world champion, he's proved he's good by the number of defences he's made in regaining the title up to having lost it against Caballero. But if he thinks he's picked a safe, voluntary defence in Jason Booth, I'm afraid he's picked one of the best technical fighters in Europe and the world. And secondly, I think Steve's second mistake was that he was prepared to come to England to give him his chance. And I think on the night, Jason Booth is gonna shock not only Britain, but the world. Watch this space.